Intense video here with just seconds to spare. Chesterfield police pull a man from a burning car. They say he was trapped and couldn't move as the flames quickly intensified. News Force Kim St. Ange is live tonight with more of the video of that daring rescue. Sam, this car was on a straightaway, hopped the curve, and then slammed right into the bottom of a tree. This all happened early in the morning on September 23rd. Tonight, though, for the very first time, police are releasing that body cam video, showing just seconds them, them pulling this man out before it engulfed in flames. You can hear it in this Chesterfield police officer's voice, his frantic call for help as other officers ran over. Police say the driver died on impact. The passenger was still alive. Police happened to be driving on Olive Boulevard early that morning for their patrols when they spotted the car and found the passenger ejected and trapped. He was conscious but severely injured and, and stuck in all the debris of the vehicle. What you don't see on camera, Sergeant Keith Ryder says, is one of the officers using a knife to cut metal cables to free the man. It took about five or six officers less than 60 seconds to pull him from the burning car. He would have died had the officers not been able to pull him out. Sergeant Ryder calls this an incredible stroke of luck. There were citizens who heard the crash and had started calling 911, but Again, if we would have gone by those calls, the officers just wouldn't have been there in time. The tree where the driver took his last breath is now covered with flowers and handwritten notes where the bark was peeled off. Charred bark even farther up shows just how high these flames reached, making it all that much more incredible the passenger survived. I've been here 19 years and that was a very intense video and it made me extremely proud of the officers that I work with that they they went in there, they didn't hesitate, and, and got that individual out. For now, police are not releasing the name of the officers who were involved with this rescue, saying this is an ongoing investigation. Tonight, they're also still trying to make sure they know exactly what caused those two men to crash. Reporting live, Kim St. Ange, News 4.